Hi everyone, my name is Julie. This is Keep Calm with Books and Coffee. I talk about books on this channel, mainly books about magic, and if you want to see more of that, you can hit the subscribe button down below. Today we are going to be doing a review of my Spookopolathon rolls. So in the month of October, I ended up doing some Spookopolathon rolls alongside my TBR Harvest and Fabelin prompts, trying to fit them in when I could, when I had extra time in between reading for prompts and such. And I just really wanted to do this. The board looked really cool. And now knowing that Becca may not run it next year, I'm really happy that I was able to participate a little bit. It was super fun and I really loved this board. So I'm going to hang on to this for next October, even if she doesn't end up running it. I feel like I am going to use this again because it just really worked well for me. But I kind of did all of my rolls and such on shorts and reels over on Instagram, and I did post them here, but I thought it would be fun to kind of review the books that I read and what my rolls were here and kind of show you guys how it went. So my very first roll was for three and I actually ended up getting the prompt of under 300 pages. So I picked up Come Tumbling Down by Sean and McGuire. And I'm not going to tell you guys all my thoughts on everything since I already did my wrap up and I don't want to bore you with too many repeats. But this en ended up working out really well because I also needed something for weather on the cover for one of the Fablin prompts. So this worked out nicely. I had a great time continuing on reading this series and I was really happy happy that this was like easing my way into everything. My next roll was for six and I ended up landing on future and I was a little bit upset about this only because I had so many books on my TBR that were for past settings and this one was a little bit more difficult for me but I knew that Leviathan Wakes was on Margaret's host favorite picks and so I picked up Leviathan Wakes. I only got about 150 pages into this and I decided to DNF it. After talking with some friends and realizing I was like avoiding this book I decided to DNF it but I did give it a good try and I decided to roll again since I honestly tried this and it just didn't work out but Maybe I'll go back to this someday, but for right now it's a DNF. My next roll also didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to because I think I got six again. Seven this time. I got seven this time. And I ended up landing on a black cover, so I picked How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. And I also DNF'd this after just about 100 pages. Gave this an honest try. Didn't work out for me, but since my goal with this like game board was to get through as many of my TBR books as possible and kind of just play it in the background. I wasn't worried about like swapping out books. So I did DNF this one as well. My next roll landed me on Broomstick and I had to look up what this prompt meant and it was a minimalist cover or a simple cover and for this I chose Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is a pretty simple cover. It's really beautiful. It's one of my favorites but it's very simplistic and just like a line drawing with a little bit of color. So I decided to pick this up and I was already like choosing this for another prompt in I believe Fablin and then I got this prompt and I decided to use this alongside it. I wanted to reread this because I reread it every year and I had a great time doing so. And then my very last roll landed me on a spoopy prompt and for this I didn't have anything that exactly fit what I was going for and I actually decided to end up like going outside my physical TBR for this last prompt since I was kind of at the end of the month and I was kind of feeling like I needed something different than what I've been choosing off my TBR. I ended up picking a dark and secret magic for this which I wasn't sure based on the title if this was going to be spoopy but while I'm reading it it's very like practical magic hallmark-esque romancy fun time. I didn't quite finish this in time for the month so I didn't get the whole way around the board but I did enjoy this pick very much and I'm still reading it right now. But those were all of the books that I ended up reading for Spookopolathon and the roles that I had. Like I said, I'm going to be keeping this board and doing it again because this was so fun and I really loved all these prompts. If you participated in Spookopolathon, I'd love to hear how your board went. And if you have any thoughts or feelings about anything that I talked about today, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!